So I, I, I start flipping pages and I thought, anywhere my finger stops, I'll read. And it, my finger stopped in John 3.16. For God so loved the mm. world that he mm. gave his only son, mm. that whosoever believes in his son Thank shall not Jesus. perish, yes. but have everlasting life. Yes. Yes. Now, I didn't really understood what that scripture uh-huh. meant. I knew it was, uh, if you believe in his son, Jesus, and I right. heard about uh, the message, the, the, the gospel, but uh, I didn't really give my life to him. Hmm. So I shut the Bible off, and I thought, well, I might as well continue what I was planning to do. And uh, I took a bottle, a swig of that whiskey again, and, and by this time I was drinking it's pretty pure. And, and uh, I, I remembered uh, uh, well, this one time I took my revolver and I had it in my mouth. I had the, the barrel in my temple, and all I had to do was click the, the trigger, and, and I, that would have been it. Wow. <clears throat> and then... Uh, again, uh, there was a, uh, almost like something was telling me in my mind, Brian, open that Bible one, once again, one more time. And I opened up the Bible again, and uh, just one the flip of one, one page there, I uh, just flipped it open. I found that scripture again. That same scripture came back, and it's Don, John 3.16 again. And I read it about two or three times, and, and uh, the third time I remembered the most beautiful feeling. The most peaceful wow. feeling I've, uh, uh, I, I've never felt like that before. And it came from on top and down, 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 down to uh, my, my body here and down. And as it was coming down, I noticed uh, uh, the, the heaviness and the sorrow, the, the, the thing that, what, you know, uh, the heaviness inside was, was, was flowing down with this, with this thing. And I realized there was something, uh, something was happening in, 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 and in my own, uh, my drunken state, I didn't realize that I was, I was on, by this time I was on my knees and I was crying unto the Lord and I was mm. confessing to the Lord the sins mm. I, I was doing. And, and I, uh, I felt the strong presence of the, of the Holy Spirit. I strong the, whole, the pres- presence of, of Jesus in that room and, and, and I, I, uh, I gave my life to the Lord that night. That was wow. February uh, the 22nd, 1982. Wow. I said, Lord, take this alcoholism away from me. And I poured it down the sink and I phoned, uh, I, was, I, I went to sleep that night and uh, the phone rang about three, four o'clock in the morning. My wife says, come home. He says, the little boy's lonesome for you. So I drove home, went to bed. The next morning I knew I was going to get sick. Uh, I knew I was going to have a bad, I used to get sick two, three wow. weeks and a lot. And mm-hmm. I woke up and the uh, first thing I heard was the birds singing. I was, I, uh, the, my wife left the window open and uh, the sun was shining in my bedroom. I told my wife what happened. I told him I accepted the Lord and, and, and that was from it. My wife, I guess, for, for uh, four years uh, since we were married, but from 78 to 82, she's been, she, was, she went to the altar to pray for me and pleaded with the Lord to, for me to get saved. Wow. And uh, today I believe the, the power of prayer is very powerful. Yeah. You know, and, and if you have uh, friends up there, if you have relatives that are bond, in bond with alcohol or drugs or anything, uh, uh, pray. Don't give up on the, your, your loved ones. Uh, mm. Pray to the Lord, and, 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 and the Lord will, will intervene. He will, he will hear your cry. He will hear your, your, your prayer. And, and like my, the way, and I, to this day, I'm, I'm still praying for my relatives. Mm. To get my, I have an older brother, Wilford, that's... Uh, uh, that was uh, saved a year after I was, and he wow. was a bad alcoholic as well. Now he's turned his life over. Now to he's life. turned his life to the Lord. He's been, I think he's, uh, uh, like I was saved in 82, he, he accepted the Lord in 83. And like uh, him and I used to fight like cats and dogs when we were drinking. Now uh, it's a totally different story now. We just love each other and mm-hmm. he's, you know, we share the gospel. He's, uh, he d- does a lot of gospel singing. And uh, he shares his testimony all over Gideon's uh, uh, full gospel banquets and churches and whatnot, funerals. That's basically what I do right now. Is um, right now in North Balford, I do uh, prison ministry, I do hospital mm. ministry, and I do a lot of uh, uh, sharing and singing gospel in in wakes on First Nation reserves yeah, around North. There's Balford. a lot of big gatherings there. Yes, good opportunity to share and encourage people to. To seek the answers, amen. And the real answer is, you know, found out is Jesus, eh? Exactly. We can, how he can set us free. Not only forgive us of our sins, but truly set us free. That's exactly yes, right. You know, the Bible says, you know, whom the Son has set free, he is free indeed. That's right. And so the truth is set, as set, well, set us free. And the truth is Jesus. 
His, the truth is in the person of Jesus. And you, I've noticed all through the years I've seen you uh, serving, uh, not only serving this, the communities and different reservations, you've been ministered uh, uh, as an officer, you uh, work, uh, worked there, served there, but also you, you did a lot of work and uh, began many work, many ministries in, in uh, different places that you've been. I remember you've been to Bow Valley way back up north and uh, and I remember having a meeting way up there and a tremendous, tremendous amount of uh, how you reached and touched people. When I uh, was transferred to Beauvale, uh, well, when I got transferred out of uh, La Ronge, I went to Blaine Lake and I knew in my heart that I, I need to uh, uh, tell people about the, this, this gospel, this beautiful uh, good news that I've, I've, I've heard and I've accepted that Jesus Christ was uh, my Lord and Savior. Uh, I started a Bible studies, uh, Bible studies on two reserves in Blaine Lake area, in Muskeg Lake First Nations and Mistawasis First Nation. And we started to have church there and, and, and then I got transferred to, uh, in 1990, we got transferred to, uh, to uh, Beauval. Yeah. And in Beauval, we, while we were in Blaine Lake, my wife was going to university to study to be a nurse practitioner. Right. And she got her degree in that and then after she, uh, we, we got transferred to La Ronde's. We both worked up there, and I mean not Laurence Beauval. We both worked up there, and uh, in Beauval we started to minister at our basement, and I was there for seven years, and I knew that the Lord had placed me there to uh, to, to 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 start a Bible study, but I didn't realize that I I, I when we got transferred there was a church, there was a wow. we we purchased a the the, the the group of people that we had. Uh, these were were saved. They were spirit filled, right. and we bought a church. Right. They bought a building. Right. So it's, there is there is there is a building. There's a build. There's a church, church there area. now. There's a church there now, that is yeah. operating now. Yeah. Uh, and not only there. I remember you going to uh, Pine House. Pine House. Pine House there. Remember you Ooh. going there yeah. and ministering there. And uh, it's wonderful to know that uh, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, but he's. He's for everybody. Amen. He's not only for us natives too, but also he's for, for every nation. And uh, I've noticed that uh, it's not important where we came from, it's important where we're going. But thank God for, for us being a native, First, exactly. first, uh, first Nation people. And uh, it's good that God is moving amongst our native oh, people. Oh, it is. There's so yeah. many places that we, you've been and seen uh, yeah. uh, many people uh, serving the Lord, like your brother there now singing and uh, ministering in uh, uh, correctional centers, eh? Yeah. And also uh, different people, different natives. Exactly. And uh, how, I guess that's helped you quite a bit in your work and doing uh, dealing with uh, situations like that. Oh, quite a lot of... In uh, prisons and uh, different violent yeah. people, offenders, violent offenders. You yeah. find a... When I was... Uh, uh, I'm retired now. I'm reti I've right. retired in 2001 uh, 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 from the force. I'm, I've got a, an RCMP pension. But uh, when I was in the force, I used to... I, I, basically, you know, Ray, I didn't have no time for, for dr uh, uh, drunks. Uh -huh. uh, I had no patience for them. But after I got saved, I guess, you know, uh, in Galatians chapter 5, where the Lord says, uh, where uh, Paul says, uh, the, the uh, uh, fruit of the Spirit yes, will, 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 yeah. will come inside. And that's basically love, patience, kindness, gentleness, long-suffering, and all mm -hmm. that. And that's what started to produce in me. And I started to love these, these uh, uh, people that were drunk and the ones that I arrested. And in, instead of, uh, 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 sometimes I'd, I'd witness them for hours in a police car, I'd have a captive audience, I'd put them in the back. And you know, after two, for about an hour and a half, I'd witness them. And by the time I, I was done, they were sober. And I believe that was, and I, <laughs> oh, I, I, I believe that was the Holy Spirit. <laughs> sober annoying, and eh? well, yeah. yeah. So I'd, I'd get, to, get, get to drive them home because they were sober. What's the use of taking them to jail? <laughs> and, but then I used to always uh, have uh, prisoners too, uh, I would take them out of prison, if, especially if they were remanded. I'd take them out of jail, uh, the prison and sit them in my a coffee room and give them coffee, and I'd witness to them there. You know, right. so yeah, it's wonderful that you, God has anointed you to really. Uh, uh, you know, everybody has a, a gift, and it's wonderful that God's given you that gift to reach others. You know, have a compassion. You know, and everywhere, everywhere you went, that's one thing I've noticed that everywhere you went, you always try to reach people. You try to you reach your people, just like you know, yeah. reaching our people, and it's wonderful that you know, because there's so much needs amongst our native people. You know, there's many people that are that are hurting from the past issues and 
because of uh, upbringing sometimes and uh, there's many people that are struggling with different uh, things, uh, addictions and uh, uh, in, in change of environment, change of uh, from reservation to the city, it's sort of a kind of a struggle with them because we, you know, it's a different, it's different environment. Exactly. But it's so important, it's so important to know that out there, if you're listen, you're watching us today as I'm talking to uh, the RCMP officer, uh, Brian Arcan, the same heart we have, the same heart we want to reach out to you. And if you're struggling with someone, something, uh, uh, you're struggling with some uh, problem, we wanna, want you to just to reach out to Jesus. We can pray a prayer now, and I'm gonna ask uh, uh, Brian to reach out and, and pray and believe God, whatever it is, maybe you're sick, maybe you, you, you have a problem with a broken, broken home or whatever the need is. Maybe you're suffering with alcoholism or some addiction. Maybe you're heal, you need a healing of the past. We want you to pray. Would yes. you pray, Brian? Would you say a prayer and reach out to, to pray for these okay. people? Father, we, we just come to you, Lord Jesus, for, for all the, the, the problems that uh, the, uh, the people that are having in this country and in, into the homes, Lord. We ask the Holy Spirit to uh, just bring them out, Lord, and just comfort them. Because, Father, one of the promises that you've made, given us was to, to, uh, to uh, uh, heal our hearts and, and to forgive us, Lord. Father, there's so many people there that are lost, that are just following a religion, Lord. But this is not religion we're talking about. This is a personal relationship with you, Lord Jesus. And we need to, the, these people that out there that are hurting, uh, especially the, the young generation now that are in drugs, Father, we ask that you uh, uh, draw yourself, uh, draw them to yourself, Lord. Father, we thank you for, your, for, your, for dying on a cross for us, Lord. We thank you for the salvation message Lord, we just ask now, Lord, that you be with us in Jesus' name. Amen.